Hey friends, I wanted to talk today about this idea of good foods versus bad foods, um, clean foods versus dirty foods. You've probably noticed these labels being thrown around a lot in the you know, health, wellness, dieting, fitness industries. And I think the intention is good, but the psychological effects are not so good. So it's taken me many, many years to even remotely try to break the habit of using those labels when talking about food. I grew up with a registered dietitian for a mother. Um, nutrition information was something that I was surrounded with. And then of course my, you know, college experience learning about physiology and nutrition. And then of course entering the health and wellness and coaching industry. A lot of people use these terms to describe different foods. And again, I think the intention is good, but it always has a psychological, mental, emotional backlash. So when we use the words good and bad to describe foods, these are moralistic judgments. So not only are we creating these false categories of food based on our own morality in, in a society or culture. But when we partake in those foods on a psychological level, we also give ourselves those labels. You know, whether this is conscious or not, most of the time it's not conscious. Uh, when we eat a food that we believe is bad, uh, in some level of our mind, we also think I am therefore bad for eating it. And I see this a lot, the, the emotional and mental damage that this type of labeling does to us. And in this, um, you know, dieting and fitness culture that we live in, even in, you know, even in the natural healing world, which for me has a lot of great benefits, but still there's this one, this one sticking point for me is how we label the foods we eat. Um, so for me, I don't believe in good foods and bad foods. I don't believe in clean foods and dirty foods. I don't believe in things called cheat days or cheating. Uh, again, these are all moralistic judgments. And when we inevitably eat these foods, because 99% of us will at some point, we take on that judgment for ourselves and we end up creating this... Um, you know, self, self judging cycle and uh, emotional and mental damage around what we eat. And in the end, whether you're trying to heal a chronic illness or you're hoping to lose weight or whatever your goal is, using those types of labels is only going to work against you in the end. So this is just my little invitation for you to maybe pay a little closer attention to the kinds of words you use around food. Again, get rid of the idea and, and the notion of a cheat day or cheating that just needs to go out completely. Um, but then, you know, really listening to yourself, how you're thinking about food, how you're talking about food. Are you using moralistic judgments and labels like good, bad, clean, dirty, um, these kind of things. Um, so once, we, when, once we're able to really change the language we use around foods, then I don't know how to explain it, but it creates this emotional and energetic spaciousness. It's like on a psychological level, we can finally breathe and get some space. Again, our bodies know what feels best to us. We know that certain foods make us feel better. Um, so for me, there's really no reason to label good, bad, clean, dirty, pure, impure, whatever, you know, whatever language you are familiar with. Um, but instead getting back in touch with our body, what it's telling us, how it feels after we eat certain foods. And then of course the sensory experience of the food itself shouldn't be judged or labeled as good or bad. So that is my little tip for the day for you. Start paying attention to the words you use and the language you use around food and start that healing process towards getting back to what is healthy and natural and in that 
flow of well-being. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more awesome health and spirituality tips. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.